All right, y'all. We got some work ahead of us. This is the first in a series of videos that we got to cover the layout tool. Um, this is the tool that's going to allow us to customize our user interface. And there are seven different systems that we got to cover. Hopefully. Hopefully I can cover them all. I'm planning, I'm planning on it, but man. In this video, we're going to be covering the title screen. I'm pretty excited to work with the layout tool because this is the tool that Smile Game Builder really needed. This is going to allow us to stand out from the crowd. If you didn't do any heavy scripting or transfer your game to Unity with Smile Game Builder, you weren't doing any of this. And it was kind of a letdown, but I still really love Smile Game Builder. Anyway, um, let's get into it, man. Let's learn how to make a very professional title screen with some moving parts and different components that'll just take it to the next level. Other than, other than, I mean, nothing personal, but we don't want to use just a JPEG. You're going to be locked in. You can't move any graphics around, and you're going to constantly readjust. If you want something placeholder in the beginning, that's fine. But hopefully with this video and the video after this, the part two, um, we'll have a nice professional-looking title screen. All right, before we get started, please make sure that you have all of your graphics ready to go. I put all of mine in one simple folder, and they're all in PNG format. And my logo and character graphics are cut with uh, transparency, so they pop off our background. All right, let's get started. We're going to move over to the left-hand side of this screen up here in the title section. So the way Bakim works, um, everything has a preset base in each one of these menu systems. And what you have to do is you're going to select that base sample that Bakim has built for you, and you're going to copy it and paste it. The reason we do this is if we go back, many of the options to modify are grayed out. And they won't become accessible until you make a copy of that base format. And next, got to make sure that we check it off. And this is the one that we're gonna, going to be working with. Next, after that, you see here that it, it says Title Screen Layout Tool. We don't really need that. We can come over here to Title and Subtitle Names, and we can turn that off. Our highlight moved up to the background section, which is exactly where we're going to go next. From here, you see we have this blue background, and we're going to replace that. We're going to make a core background. So for a core background, we'll come over here to Visible, and we'll go to Window Image. We'll select that. It took us to our Asset Picker. <laughs> and we'll go to Select from File. You make your way, make your way to, make your way to wherever you're, you're hiding your images. Here we go. We're going to add and exit. Now from here, we'll return to that same area, and we'll go to fill with specified sizes rectangle, and we're going to turn that off. So as you see, your image sort of popped up in the background, but it has a blue hue. So we're going to come over here to color, and we're going to select white, and make sure that your RGBA is all Fs. That's your color code. And we confirm that. Now we have a we have a red hue, uh, but don't worry. That just means that it's been highlighted. If you select New Game Continue and Config, you see that it goes away, and our highlight has moved to uh, the New Game window. Next, we'll return to background, and we're going to open our folder. So you click that, and we're going to add two parts. So we click click our Parts section. We select Panel. We're going to select a panel for rendering sprites. Hit OK. Yeah, Sprite Panel 1. For this one, we're going to be using it for our logo. So we type that in. We select our Sprite Set. Select from File. 
I'm going to select our logo. And it's been added. So as you can see here, now we have our background and we have an adjustable, movable logo. Next, we'll add another part, that same exact panel for rendering sprites. And this one will be for our next image. Call this one Robo. And once again, we'll go to Sprite Set. Select from File. And we'll pick our character image. Add and exit. It's been added. And there we go. Now we also have our character image. From here, now you see the power in having separate images to make a composite for our title screen. It can be moved wherever you like. Select Robo. It could be on this side. It could be down here. So now you understand. In the next part, we'll be taking these two images and we'll be adding motion animations that appear as soon as you start the game. Thank you for watching, and please stay tuned for the next video.